So, how many how many bottles will go in this one? Do you think? Uh, we have a lot of small bottles inside, so this one will use something like twenty five thousand. Right, and you say it'll neutralize the. Yeah, e each each person will in his lifetime will use about fourteen to fifteen thousand bottles. Right. So that house will take like almost double. So two person, a couple that live in this house, will neutralize their footprint on the planet. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Yeah. If everyone in the world do that, we don't have a problem anymore. No, that's great. <laughs> cool. Thanks, Robert. You see, this panel, some of the panels are using some two liters, one and a half to two liters. So they will take about 120 bottles per panel. When you're using the small, the 500, the 600 milliliter, you could put up to 240 inside the panel. Wow. So that makes a huge difference. If you yeah. have 100 panels in the house, that's 24,000 bottles if it's five or 600 milliliter, which is what normally the people buy the most, smaller yeah. bottle. Yeah, the yeah. biggest problem. Amazing. Yeah, you can see the difference on this one and this one. We get we get a lot of people raising the question if it's dangerous for the plastic. Okay, the plastic, if it's not rubbing, if it's not scraping on anything, and it's fixed, permanent, and don't move, it's not a risk. When you rub them together, they give you a a powder, plastic powder, uh, oh. that powder is apparently dangerous for cancer. But the way we do this, if you notice, we have a cover. Look over here, you can see there is a cover that is welded over the cage. When we do that, we put a pressure on the bottle. We squeeze them and then we tack weld them. So all the bottles are tight, fit inside, and there's no way they can move from there. Then okay. they will be covered with concrete on both sides, so there is no way it has access to sun, mm -hmm. UV, impossible, right. and they will not move. Awesome. That is a guarantee. Great. See what they do now, they are, they're nailing down the, uh, we call it the liner. Right. To make sure that everything is straight, mm -hmm. the panel are attached to this liner. That's the first thing we do on the floor. We secure the liner to the concrete floor, mm -hmm. and then after we attach to it. All these panels will be welded one to the other. Once we finish the contour, we will yeah. bring the welding equipment and we will weld them all together and under weld it onto the liner. So it will become a one box, one piece afterwards. Yeah. There's I'm no done. way anything could move in case of disaster. Also, it will keep its flexibility. So if you get an earthquake, this thing can slightly move and, and take the... So mm. what you see now is about... What's the time now? It's nine and a quarter, ten o'clock? Quarter to ten. Quarter, quarter to ten. To ten <coughs> this morning. They started at seven o'clock, so that is three hours of work. What you see behind me, and it's got the, almost the fourth wall, the last wall terminated in the back, and we are talking about in less than three hours. So imagine how quickly you could build houses in a case where there is a disaster and it's a smaller house, this one mm -hmm. is a bigger house, but imagine shelters, how quick we could put them up. Yeah. I think it's fantastic and bottles are available everywhere on the planet.